loves welcome back to my channel if you've just hopped into this video welcome this is Jean Castilla de Jesus and I release videos in which I share my know-hows on the nitty-gritty of English and research if you want to reinforce your learnings on these topics be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you wouldn't miss any of my uploads the second sub part in chapter one is the research questions and that's what I am gonna teach you today. So what are you waiting for? Grab your pen and your research notebook because in a few minutes, you will already have your own research questions. First, let us have an overview of what the subpart research question is all about. This states the questions that a study or research project aims to answer. These questions address an issue or a problem, which through analysis and interpretation of data are answered in the conclusion. The research questions have two significant components. The first paragraph states the general aim and the second paragraph showcases the specific aims. The general aim varies how the researcher would write it. It is usually composed of one sentence only and briefly explains to the readers what problem it intends to measure, assess, determine, or quantify. Check out this example. The second part of the research questions is what I will discuss in total for today's lesson. Remember my previous video wherein I provided example research titles for each research design? Well, that's good because we will utilize those research titles in formulating the research questions for our lesson today. And now allow me to switch to the slide decks in my laptop. The first research title is Level of Parental Engagement Among Grade 7 Students in Allen National High School. This is an example of a descriptive research. So the template for the research question in a descriptive research is what is the level of core concern? Let us substitute the words using the variables in the research title. So, it will become, what is the level of parental engagement among grade 7 students? Our second research title is an example of a descriptive correlational research design. Here it goes. Parental engagement and educational achievement of senior high school students in Allen National High School. The template for the research questions in a descriptive correlational study is as follows. First, what is the level, degree, or status of the independent variable? Number two, what is the level, degree, or status of the dependent variable? And number three, is there a significant relationship between the independent and dependent variable? So, in this sample research title, we have the two variables, parental engagement and educational achievement. The independent variable here is parental engagement and the dependent variable is educational achievement. So, if we are going to replace the words from the template, with the variables in the sample research question, we will have the following research questions. Number one, what is the level of parental engagement among grade 7 students? Number two, what is the level of educational achievement of grade 7 students? And lastly, is there a significant relationship between the parental engagement and educational achievement of grade 7 students? Moving forward to the third sample research title, we have Influence of Peer Pressure on the Educational Achievement of Senior High School Students in Allen National High School. This is an example 
of a predictive correlational study. For predictive correlational, the template that we can follow is number one, what is the level, degree, or status of the dependent variable? Number two, what is the level, degree, or status of the dependent variable? And number three, does the independent variable predict, influence, or impact the dependent variable? Now, with the use of the template, let us use or substitute the words using the variables in the sample research title. Our independent variable is the influence of peer pressure and the dependent variable is educational achievement. So the research questions will become, number one, what is the level of peer pressure among senior high school students? Number two, what is the level of educational achievement of senior high school students? And number three, does the level of peer pressure influence the educational achievement of senior high school students? The fourth title is an example of a comparative study. Perception of vaccinated and unvaccinated students on the full implementation of face-to-face -face classes in Allen National High School. The template goes this way. Number one, what is the level, degree, status of the dependent variable of group A? Number two, what is the level, degree, or status of the dependent variable of group B? Number three, is there a significant difference in the level, degree, or status of the dependent variable between group A and group B? So, the dependent variable here is the perception on full implementation. Group A are the vaccinated students and group B are the unvaccinated students. So, let us now replace the words with the variables from the sample research title. The research questions will now become number one. What is the perception of vaccinated students on the full implementation of face-to-face -face classes? Number two, what is the perception of the unvaccinated students on the full implementation of face-to-face -face classes? And number three, is there a significant difference on the perceptions of vaccinated and unvaccinated students on the full implementation of face-to-face -face classes? Pressing ahead, we have the sample research title for a causal comparative study. Research competence of grade 12 students in blended instruction and classroom learning in Allen National High School. So we have the template. First, what is the level of the dependent variable of group A in terms of condition A and condition B? Number two, what is the level of the dependent variable of group B in terms of condition A and condition B? Number three, is there a significant difference between the level of the dependent variable of group A and group B in terms of condition A? And lastly, is there a significant difference between the level of the dependent variable of group A and group B in terms of condition B? So, group A here refers to the grade 12 students undergoing blended instruction. And group B refers to the grade 12 students undergoing classroom learning. The dependent variable here is the research competence. So, let us move forward to the sample research questions in which we are already done with the substitution of the words. So, here it goes. Number one, what is the level of the research competence of grade 12 students in blended instruction in terms of 1.1 attitudes and 1.2 performance. So, condition A pertains to 
attitudes, and condition B pertains to the performance. Number two, what is the level of the research competence of grade 12 students in classroom learning in terms of 2.1 attitudes and 2.2 performance? Number three, is there a significant difference between the level of the research competence of grade 12 students in blended instruction and classroom learning in terms of attitudes, which is again the condition A? Lastly, is there a significant difference between the level of the research competence of grade 12 students in blended instruction and classroom learning in terms of performance? The next research title is an example of an evaluative research. Evaluation of the Brigada Escuela 2022 in Allen National High School. So here is the template for the research questions. First, what is the status of the program? Number two, what is the level of implementation of the program? And third, what supplementary program design can be developed to enhance the implementation? Now, let us use the variables in the sample research title to replace the words in the template. We have, first, what is the status of the Brigada Escuela 2022? Number two, what is the level of implementation of the Brigada Escuela 2022? And thirdly, what supplementary program design can be developed to enhance the implementation? Finally, here is the last sample research title, which is for a quasi-experimental study. Math in the Kiosk, Improving Statistical Competencies Among 11th Graders in Allen National High School. So, the intervention here for the quasi-experimental study is the Math in the Kiosk. And we have the dependent variable, the statistical competencies. Here is the template. First, what is the level of dependent variable of the control group? Number two, what is the level of dependent variable of the treatment group? And thirdly, is there a significant difference between the dependent variable of the control group and treatment group? So the sample research questions go this way. Number one, what is the level of statistical competencies of the control group? Number two, what is the level of statistical competencies of the treatment group? And number three, is there a significant difference between the statistical competencies of the control group and treatment group? That's it for today's lesson. I hope you learned a thing or two from me. If I was able to help you formulate your research questions, Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell to keep you posted of my lessons. Thank you so much for watching and please do love research. Bye!